Hello YouTube, we're going to be going over some double integral practice problems. Um, so just check this out, see if you can do it on your own. I'd recommend pausing the video, work it out, and then kind of check your work as you go along through the video. Alright, welcome back. Um, so now let's check out the steps to solving this problem. So notice how the end is dy dx, so that means we're going to integrate with respect to y first, work your inside out like peeling out the onion. Um, and you should get 1 over x times ln of absolute value of y. What I did was I took a 1 over x as a constant, because when you're integrating with respect to y, you treat x as a constant, then what's the integral of 1, or excuse me, the antiderivative of 1 over y would be the ln of that y. And we're going to be evaluating that from 1 to 2. Um, and then you still have the remainder problem, so I wrote that in green because that's still what you're looking for, but it still lets evalu evaluate what's in blue. Um, then you get, using the fundamental theorem of calculus, you do ln uh, f of b minus f of a, so ln 2 minus ln 1, and that constant is still left there, but let's simplify that further. You would get 1 over x ln 2. Now, ln of 2 is now a constant. That's just a number. Think of it as a number. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that out and then integrate 1 over x um, with respect to x. So the antiderivative of 1 over x is ln of x, and we're going to evaluate it from 1 to 2 or 2 to 1. Um, and we do the same thing. You get ln of 2 minus ln of 1. That's the same thing as ln of 2. But we also have that constant out there as well that we pre moved out earlier, which is also ln of 2. So the answer is ln 2 squared. Cool. So moving on, we have another example. We have a paraboloid, z equals x squared plus y squared, and it's bounded by this square. Um, and it's given uh, the dimensions here. So now you have to set up the integral. So what you do, I usually like to do it with respect to dy dx because it's easier for me for some reason. I just kind of like it. Um, but it shouldn't really have, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, so moving on, you set up your, you're integrating that function z, and then you put your limits of integration as the bounds of the square, which is negative 1 to 1. Um, so notice how negative 1 to 1, the, the integral that's closest to the dy is the y bound, and the integral on the outside is the x bound. Note that. Um, so moving on, you integrate with respect to y, so you treat x as a constant. Um, so if x were, say, 3, the antiderivative of 3 would be 3y, so you have x squared y. Then you take the antiderivative of y, with, y squared with respect to y, you get 1 third y cubed, evaluate it from the limits of integration, which is negative 1 to 1. Solve for that, it's going to show some work here. Using the fundamental theorem of calculus, f of b minus f of a, you simplify your work, you get 2x squared plus 2 thirds. But you still have the separate, the extra integral, because this is double integral, so that was just one problem down, now you got to do the rest. So now we do the same thing and integrate with respect to x now. Um, so same thing, fundamental theorem of calculus. Um, you should get these values when you anti-differentiate. Um, basic integration here, and then you evaluate it at those points, and you should, should do the fundamental theorem of calculus once again, simplify, and you get your answer as 8 thirds. Um, hope that helped. It was a good practice problem. And remember, practice makes perfect. The only way you're going to get better at doing double integrals is to keep practicing.